Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and it's been a while since we've looked at my biology stuff. And we're still waiting a tiny bit to get a little bit more done so that I can give you some downloads for that. I know, I'm the worst, literally. But we did actually, or I did a little bit of work to do a little bit of polling from the repository, and we have a new feature. So I thought we'd go ahead and look at that if I can find one of my uh, creatures in here that I can test on under my own per um where is my biology stuff it's in here somewhere i know for a fact diesel man amogus napalm we got a lot of stuff in here a lot of good ah oh, there we go bio save test life form uh okay this this isn't this isn't exactly what i wanted perhaps oh it's probably local uh skin is here this is exactly what i wanted brilliant this is exactly what i wanted so here is my general test organism we can see the lungs working with the oxygen we can see we're getting a little bit of uh over time the blood is coming through and it's oxygenating all the tissue. It's, it's very good stuff, very good stuff indeed. But what I'm mostly interested in, first off, let's prevent this from dying. I'm gonna get the prop tool, I'm gonna get the O2, and I'm just gonna set it to like, 100. There we go. Get some oxygen in there. Mmm, look nice and healthy, will ya? Mmm, flesh. Anyways. <laughs> Everything's looking very bright and happy now, or at least most of it is. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the addition, which is going to be poison. I don't know if we've looked at... Do we have bacteria? I don't remember if we actually... I, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, I think I have to work on that. However, poison is supposed to kill tissue, I think. So, oh yeah, yeah, it does quite a bit of damage actually, you can see the moment it touches, it makes it uh, a little unhealthy. It's actually kind of burning through it. Let it go. Now I think the poison actually does slowly lose power, but yeah, it's definitely not good for it. So let's put a little bit of poison into the organism, and let's see how it reacts. Oh man, it and blood just immediately uh, seem to have a little bit of a battle there. Having poison inside of the organism, you can see, does a lot of damage. And something actually clogged up over here. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know what happened, but... Down here, we actually have a massive clog. I, I I have no clue. I need to read the code for the poison and see how it works. I didn't actually add it. It was someone else who contributed it. Um, I think it's dead tissue got stuck there. It ate through a bit of the lungs. Look at the amount of lung it ate through. Um, the poison certainly causes quite a bit of damage. Yeah, it's dead tissue. So, as you can see, the poison actually does have a major effect on the organism when we put it in. It's very heavy and it tends to sink to the bottom. And at the bottom, it just causes a buildup of dead cells. A lot of dead cells. I think it's actually killing the blood cells there. But the issue is when this entire bottom is coated in dead tissue, uh, the blood can no longer easily transfer oxygen to this skin at the bottom here which is now starting to have a little bit of a CO2 buildup and a slight lack of oxygen as time goes on. Uh, definitely not something you'd want to see in your organism. We're seeing a little bit of a backup over here on this side. Oh, shoot, yeah, because we have another clog due to dead tissue. Um, these clots are, are the real killer at the end of the day. I mean, the poison's doing damage, but a blood clot will actually cause death. Uh, ooh. Oh, and we have, we have, 
dead tissue now just completely falling apart, causing the lungs to collapse. The lungs are not looking good. At least the bottom lung is falling apart. I may just remove it entirely at this point and see if the top lung can hold this together for just a little bit longer. Poor creature, not having a good time. Can it recover from this? Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, between the blood clotting, the loss of a lung, I'm just gonna completely open this up to try to get blood circulating more quickly. Uh, it's it's not it's not looking good. There's a lot of blood leaking into the center. Uh yeah, this this organism which is closest to like a worm. Actually, there's a hole in it. The skin grew to fill that hole, but it almost had a hole in the organism itself. That would have been very very bad. Um, we need better contact between the lung and the blood so I'm gonna make these little spikes that go through uh, if we can't get respiration moving it's uh it's it's end game over yeah there we go there we go we're getting some we're getting some pinkish pinkish blood now it's not quite red but it's better than before um I think we may have to do a transfusion at this point for this creature to survive. Let's go ahead and cut a small hole in the creature, which we're going to use primarily for transfusions. I'm going to use some titanium for this. The skin is attempting to grow through it, so it looks like I'm going to have to go a little bit further. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. The skin is really fighting me here. <laughs> Turns out living things don't like it when you build big metal pieces onto them. All right, and then we're just gonna hook this up to make a little funnel. Let's get some brand new, just uh, high quality blood in here. Now this blood will help already because it doesn't have any CO2, so it'll be able to pick up CO2. But what we really want to do is we want to give it some oxygen. So let's go ahead and get this blood very, very oxygenated and then just pour it in. And hopefully this one time surge of oxygen and fresh blood will uh, help rescue the organism. You can see it's trying its very best now. Uh, things are healing very quickly and we can try to clean some of this dead tissue off. Uh-oh. There we go. I want to get rid of the dead tissue, not not the living tissue. Once again, slight mistake. There we go. Okay, and after cleaning out all that dead tissue, we may just have a chance of keeping this thing alive. Now, the blood picked up a lot of CO2, and I'm not sure if the lung can really keep up with that. Uh, it seems like we have an issue getting the blood through here, so let's just go ahead. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. All right. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. I I don't think it can survive with only half of the lung, but we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot at survival. You can see after that blood transfusion, things are starting to get a little dicey. This tissue over here is just literally about to die. Um, it is not doing well. There's no blood contact with it, but it's kind of a sacrifice we have to make in order to throw the blood up here. It's not good! That's, that's the truth. It is just, it is just not good. Um, honestly, what I should do is give blood a slightly larger range. Uh, I can attempt to fix this, but really, I think it's just game over for this creature. We're getting some necrosis over here, and this tissue is just... yeah. Yeah. I think it's game over. Well, we'll see it through to the end. I mean... Oh boy. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, not good. Not good. Not good! Oh no! 
Oh. And just like that. Just like that. It is over. It is over. I mean, we put a lot of effort into keeping it alive, though. I'd like to make more complex organisms with this. Um, the issue is that it, it takes quite a bit of work to get one working, and the mod still has a few problems, like the blood vessel system isn't very good. Um, that's my fault, but i uh, working on it. Working on it. <laughs> uh because the way pipes work in this game, they don't get quite the fluid throughput that you'd hope they would. Uh, they're actually, they're, they're quite slow. Do, 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 do. Maybe one of the developers can help me out with that at some point, making a better version of pipe that fills a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. It's definitely possible. I just don't know if I'm capable of doing it. The pipe, the way the pipes work already is very com complex. Oh man, so that poison actually works really well. I mean, I don't know why you would want to poison your beautiful organism. However, if you did want to uh, poison your beautiful organism, you now have an accurate way to do it. Um, is it as effective as cancer at killing the cell? No. Tumor, tumor is just an extremely, extremely effective uh, killer in the bi biology mod. Just putting a little bit of skin cancer on it, you can see it very quickly makes its way, grows, and uh, once it hits the blood, it's just game over, because there will be, within like a few seconds, cancer somewhere else inside of the creature. But I'm gonna add more stuff. I'm gonna add bacteria and viruses and stuff, and we will see how those do. I mean... And obviously we're going to need something that will fight cancer. Which is going to be fun on its own. So with that, thank you for taking a look at poison and things it brings along. Um, I will go ahead and see, to the best of my ability, if I can get this back on track so that we can go work on, uh getting this mod a little bit further ahead but thank you all for watching leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed i will see you all next time and uh this creature just just suffered a horrible horrible death oh oh they just gone gone with the wind peace out folks I will keep working on this and other things. If you have anything you want to be added to the powder toy, let me know in the comments down below. I'll consider it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and make sure to watch more videos so that I can survive, you know? <sighs> well, if you have any suggestions for the mod, please leave them in the comments down below and I am just stumbling over my words today so I apologize. If you want to stumble over to the subscribe button and like button go ahead and thank you end credits gang for watching the entire video. See you all next time.